Welcome to 5G Mind Melt. Will new tech one day melt our minds? What if that point is 5G? We are surrounded by lots of low-dose tech radiation. Also, new tech is quickly rolled out without summary testing. What if new and constant exposure to tech can harm us? What can we do to prevent mind meltdown? We start by understanding brain cells called neurons. A brain has about 100 billion neurons. Each brain cell makes a thousand or so connections. That is, brain cells link into networks. Brains work with electricity made from chemicals. A human brain weighs about 1 kilogram. But the brain uses 20% of the body's power. What makes our minds? Memory is made by brain hardware, software all enabled with electrochemical power. Our brain separates sensor inputs. Thoughts are stored in different parts of the brain. The key to our consciousness is how our brain cells link together. Our integrated cranial software links all this back together. This makes us self-thinking sentient beings. Like how different TV screens link to form one picture. The more we think, the more myelin overcoats the linked cells. This strengthens memories. So, what does this have to do with tech? Brain cell bonds are fragile. Energy can destroy. Here are examples. Poor designs and low winds cause this bridge to shake so much, it breaks. Sound energy can shatter glass. EM energy similar to Wi-Fi and smartphones, but stronger. Burst can destroy computer brain chips. How does this apply to our brains? It is all about the combo Kuhn effects of energy. For example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Why does water evaporate when the temperature is only 30 degrees Celsius? Surface water absorbs sunlight. With more sunshine, nanobits of water get enough energy to evaporate. What does this mean to me? Today, we do not know the real Kuhn effect of all the tech EM waves on us and other Earth life. What if the new tech radiation of 5 or 6G and Internet of Things are harmful to humans? What is 5G? The G means generations of wireless tech. The first generation or 1G gives us cell phones. With 2G, we can talk and text. 3G connects us to the Internet. 4G is what we have today with pictures and streamed video. 5G is much faster with more data and functions. The concern is that 5G uses EM called millimeter waves with more energy. There is also another concern. What are the all of effects of all these EM waves that hit us daily? Sources include many cell towers, transmitting phones, and IoT devices. We live in constant EMCs with data deluge from many Wi-Fi and radio sources. What will happen when 5G adds to the unseen sludge of EM radiation around us? What happens to humans when all these EM waves mix together? How much radiation are we getting today from the multiple EM sources? One day, will the cool effects of EM radiation cause our minds to melt and dissolve our electro memories? How do we protect ourselves? This is how to prevent tech from melting our minds. First, today, check and measure the good effects of all of EM waves on us. Second, simulate and lab test the effects of adding more tech to the EM that hits us today. Third, do limited tests and integrated experiments on a few 5G cells. 4. Open the data to global scientists to understand the impact. Once we know the new tech is safe, then slowly roll out worldwide. To close, what if there is a new pivot point where tech will melt our minds? Tech gives us abilities to compute, communicate, and globally connect. But 
in our haste to hurriedly roll out the new tech, will we harm ourselves? How can we prevent this? This video is a call to action to do integrated testing before we roll out the next generation of wireless tech. Our minds are amazing and precious, but they need protection from good tech causes meltdowns. See the catalog for more Alford books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 3 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded 